Welcome to the video and welcome to my spaceship Corolla. As you can see, I've got some insulation hanging up here because I'm preparing to do a little bit of uh, winter camping out in the mountains and I'm going to bring the Corolla with me. And so what I'm hoping to do is just come up with a simple overnight idea so that I can sleep comfortably in the back here and stay nice and warm and at least up to minus, uh, or at least down to minus uh, 15 degrees Celsius weather. We're in a little bit of a cold snap right now, so I want to do a little bit of prep and then put everything together. And the main point of this video is going to be to stay warm, stay safe, and then also minimize my gear as well. So I'm going out ice fishing, uh, and I might do a little bit of hiking and stuff as well, and some photography. So I want to make sure I can get out there, uh, stay warm, manage the humidity inside of the car, and just make sure that uh, I'm comfortable and happy while I'm out there. So I'm going to try and make this as comfortable as possible. We'll see how well I do in the end. And then I'm just going to walk you through some of the steps that I'm doing uh, to kind of make it warm and to make this make this idea work. I'm just going to show as I'm kind of making the bed and stuff here. I'm going to make the bed before I go. Lay out all the blankets and the pillows here. And make sure that it's comfortable, ready to go so I'm not setting up once I get there. In the back here, I've just got my kitchen in the blue tub and then in the little cubby here um, I've got just a compressor in case I get a flat tire a lining for the sleeping bag and then a drill in case I need to disassemble the car V with a new battery looks like it'll be a good setup anyways and yeah. should be at least comfortable all right so we got everything ready to go I think it looks colder in here than it is actually it's only I think negative 10 right now so I think we're doing all right and uh, got all the gear in the back there and I got a clear line of sight everywhere, so I'm happy with this. So we're gonna go pick up some bait, and then we're gonna head right out to the lake, and uh, yeah, get our camp set up and just have some fun out there, and stay warm, that is the main goal. All right, well, welcome to the interior of the Camper Corolla, and uh, this is the winter setup. And so we've got all of our uh, we've got all of our window coverings on now. Um, some of them are sliding around a little bit, and so I may have to tape those or hold them in place. But I've got the gist of it set up. The main thing right now is I'm trying to retain all of the heat that I can, and just get all my stuff set up so that I can be comfortable and happy during the night. I got to figure out the best way to go to sleep here, but uh, there are some good options I think. So I guess the base questions to ask here are: How cold is it, and how cold am I? Um, it's negative 10 degrees Celsius right now outside and so inside I don't know what the temperature is I didn't bring a thermometer with me but if it's negative 10 degrees Celsius then you multiply by 1.8 to get negative 18 and then add 32 so that's 14 degrees Fahrenheit and so um, yeah not very warm um, but inside I am toasty enough right now and the main things that I'm relying on here are heat retention inside of a small space because this is a small space um, I'm not having to heat up a large area and the engine heated it on the heated up the space on the way here and then I'm trying to fight against thermodynamics and um, uh, hopefully come out on top and if it doesn't work out in my favor I can always turn the car heater back on um, I'm a heater myself too because I'm giving off body heat and then I also have the um, I also have the heating pad and if things get truly truly desperate then I have a uh, propane heater as well and so if I need to absolutely need to use the propane heater, I can hook it up and crack a window. Uh, I just don't really want to use it because it gives us top, uh, fumes and it's a little bit more dangerous, but at least I won't be in a bad survival situation if I need something. Uh, I have the heater as backup and I have a lot of different backup systems and I can always call my mom. So, <laughs> so I think I should be all right. I think that simplicity is kind of the best in terms of um, the layout of what I've got here. So I've just got my uh, folding chair propped up against the back. Um, I've got the heat shield up and then I've got the jackery right next to the bed. I'll probably move that over to this side where the pillows are at. I have a pillow on each side here too. And not only is this going to um, kind of be something comfortable to lay on in the evening, um, but for this one, if I have more padding and more uh, things in the way between me and the outside, it's just more insulation as well. So uh, the main place I'm going to probably lose heat is probably in here. And so, oh, you can see my beer. Um, but it's uh, down here uh, where I'm going to lose the heat is in the trunk. 
because it's all metal and no real good insulation down there i can feel that it's colder down there too so um but i've kept it very simple um i want to keep all of the stuff that i need on hand right here with me in the bag so my clothing all the warm stuff i need my hat flashlights backup flashlights headlamps etc they're all in the bag i've got the power cords i've got my heating pad right here uh, for when i need it and then um, up front i'll swing around here up front you can just see i have my jackets kind of hanging on the back of the uh rests here so i'm not getting too complicated with this but um but yes that is the tour it is probably the most unsophisticated van life tour you've ever seen of a vehicle but and i didn't even have to get up to do it so um yeah how comfortable is this this is a tight space it's, it's a sleeping quarters it's not something where i want to spend an extended amount of time in here um ideally i would be in and out of here and I would have a better heating solution. I don't have a better heating solution. I've tried to think of a lot of different things for such a small space. Uh, it's tricky. Um, heating is actually hard uh, because ventilation with anything that you combust is difficult. And um, I couldn't think of any way to really get something, something easy and portable in with me and something that wasn't very expensive. I know a lot of people can try to use electric heaters, but then you need a massive um, battery pack to, to do that and that's probably worth more than my car so I think um, yeah I think the best thing for me to do at this point is at least to just try heat retention strategies and to just come in warm dress really well and have some options available for me to adjust my clothing and then just have tons of backups and redundancies so those are my strategies I hope that they're enlightening and uh, if you do have really good ideas for keeping a car warm in the winter i would love to hear those too um, i'm always open to some new strategies for coping with the winter so i think the actual temperature is really set in now and so even with as cold as it is i'm not feeling it too bad i think the one thing you got to really watch with that car camping is the humidity so cracked a window and just letting some of the uh air out but also just yeah the, the humidity just condenses on everything and i think that could be uh something that really could ruin the experience if you're not watching it so gotta crack those windows and um yeah otherwise i'm pretty pretty comfortable still i'm not too cold you can feel that temperature but i would say that the only thing i'm reluctant to do is get up and go to the bathroom um otherwise as long as i got some coverings on me and I still got the original stuff that I'm dressed up in. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable and I'm probably going to nap again. <laughs> so I'm going to be able to sleep in this for sure, uh, as I have demonstrated it for the past couple hours. And then I'm just going to get up for a couple seconds here, have some tea, chill for a couple seconds, and then probably uh, probably go back to, to sleep, wake up for that nice early morning fishing. So um, yeah, it's been a relatively good experiment so far. I was very surprised at how well I slept last night. <laughs> I slept probably a good eight hours, uh, maybe even more. I probably slept actually maybe nine hours because I could have took some naps before I actually fell asleep. So surprisingly comfortable and surprisingly warm. I think the biggest game changer is just having the Jackery and the heating pad too. I think without those, I would have been a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but with those, um, it, it you trap so much heat underneath the blankets that you end up being very, very comfortable. So I slept really well last night. I'm very happy for that. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get the day fired up today and um, just get my setup going on here. Hope my drill works. Hope that uh, all the fishing stuff works. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this is, a, this is a great setup. It was a good test run. And especially in some really cold weather here too, because you know, sometimes you're out there and it's plus five and you're like, yeah, I'm really doing this, but you really got to test your equipment and all of the 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 way you have it set up in really bad weather so so this was a great setup um the window um reflectors i think did their job really nicely in the back i will probably make some for the front as well i think that that would also really help um help retain that heat and i also think that um you know in addition to the window covers just making sure that i have the windows cracked too having that humidity in here it makes it so much colder and so um, i knew that was probably going to be something i'd have to manage um, so yeah it's just been a bit of a learning curve tonight um, but overall it was uh it's been fun and uh yeah i'm happy to be in here but i'm also looking forward to getting out <laughs>
All right, so we're finally all set up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did I get one on already? Well, the first one I dropped it on at least got a hit. So maybe we got the right thing on there already. Um, I'm just fishing with a small white jig. And so um, just giving it little tiny bits of action here. And hopefully we can uh, replicate that immediate success. I wasn't paying attention. That's always when you get them. Might have just a little guy on here. I do. Just gonna wet the hand and get him loose. Okay, it's a little too small. There he is. There he goes. Sweet. Okay, well it's working. Just a lot smaller than I wanted. <laughs> Oh, I think I got another one. He's also small. There we go. All right, you fella, back you go. Got a little bit of a bigger one on here, I think. There we go. For this lake, this is about, this is a good size for sure. Okay. There we go. This is a pretty nice looking one from here. It's a nice little rainbow trout. I'm gonna throw him back in there. I realized I don't have any oil today and uh, stuff to really cook it with. I have some seasonings and stuff, but I think for now, I'm just gonna do a little catch and release. Um, otherwise, if I had a bit more time and um, you know I had the right stuff with me, I'd cook them up, because uh, it's a great day for this actually, and I do have a lot of the cooking stuff with me, but uh, unfortunately, just no real good oil to cook it in. So if I can think of a solution, I might fry one of these guys up. Well, this is one of the few trips where everything seemed to work out all right. Uh, no really big snags or anything like that. Stayed warm, caught some fish, and so overall I think we're set to try some more difficult or some colder experiences too. I might not push it too much farther past negative 15 degrees Celsius, but, um, but overall it was a pleasant night. Got a good sleep, had some nice green tea, and uh, caught some rainbow trout. So I'm going to see if I can catch a few more, but as always the GoPro battery is dying, so I'm going to end the video here. Have a great rest of your week, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.